Soy eh, Martín Díaz. I'm Martín Díaz from the Evangelical Protestant Church of El Salvador, and I'd like to thank you very much um, for inviting me. The war against drugs and, and uh, the monitoring of uh, substances has uh, proven to be um, harmful in many cases, leading to undesirable consequences such as uh, labor uh, stigmatization. Uh, besides the physical and psychological consequences from the uh, use um, of uh, plants in some uh, some uh, ancient plants sometimes, there is uh, scientific evidence uh, as to the ineffectiveness uh, of the repressive policy when it comes to drug control. The uh, evidence shows that a policy of effective control must be uh, based uh, on our criteria of public health as well as human rights. Uh, the uh, current worsening of violence in El Salvador and in Central America is a clear consequence uh, of uh, this unholy war. Uh, what we've been saying now for many years, um, since we began our work in um, harm reduction, we've been warning that violence uh, could be reduced with the regulation of substances uh, so that uh, uh, the black market would no longer uh, provide uh, highly addictive and toxic, uh, toxic substances to users. And uh, we should have a possibility uh, for uh, self-cultivation for personal use. Uh, we cannot uh, overlook uh, the uh, fundamental condition of uh, human beings, uh, his spiritual existence, uh, especially uh, by a state body, without uh, corrupting at the same time the very nature of our coexistence as well as the rule of law. And that is why uh, for some time now, the, um, in the uh, uh, American Declaration of the uh, Rights of Man from 1948 after the Second World War and even uh, before the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, uh, they acknowledged uh, that the legal and uh, political institutions which uh, guide life in society has as its purpose the protection of human rights, uh, uh, justice, uh, as well as peace in the world, and uh, its basis its basis is the uh, recognition of uh, dignity, uh, which is intrinsic uh, uh, to man, uh, as well as the inalienable rights of all members of the human family. And then in uh, 1969, the uh, American Convention on Human Rights, uh, uh, or the San Jose Pact, uh, uh, says that uh, states uh, reaffirm their uh, commitment uh, uh, in respect of the essential rights of recognizing uh, the uh, spiritual rights. And its uh, basis is the quality of uh, uh, man and hence the um, international protection of uh, what is offered by the internal law of American states and hence the spiritual dimension of uh, human nature as well as uh, essential rights uh, that stem from it uh, have been recognized and the exercise of these rights must be protected by the internal regime of states and by an international system so that uh, everyone uh, can uh, demand uh, effective compliance uh, of this right uh, in, in uh, developing one's spirituality uh, both the state as well as the inter-American uh, system of human rights uh, through the inter American Human Rights Commission of 1969. And that is why we ask, uh, as a church, uh, we ask uh, God uh, that uh, uh, the uh, delegation of the um, uh, Northern Triangle of Central America, especially El Salvador, we have adjusted our positions to the real needs of our uh, region. And uh, this is based uh, on the uh, essential rights, on individual freedoms, in order to carry out uh, peace and social justice.